Hello, hello. Steve, Canadian Sasquatch, coming at you with another extension cord build. So exciting, I know. In our last video, we made this big guy, 25-ish foot extension cord with the uh, three outlets and a switch. And in this video, we're gonna do something very similar, but we're gonna use this extension cord. And as you can see, this is the leftover bits from another one. We've got the female side, and we've got nothing on this side. We're gonna make another one just like this guy with a uh, twist since we've got all the wrong parts on the ends. So here we go. Of course, we need our extension cord cable, junction box, outlets, an outlet with switch, faceplate, cable uh, clamp, electrical tape, and this time the uh, outlet that we're gonna use. We're also gonna need a couple pieces of uh, extra wire here to connect these guys together and as in the last video to connect the ground to the box. For tools, we are going to need Phillip, Phillips and flathead screwdriver, wire stripper, razor blade, needle nose pliers, lineman pliers, side cutters. We're also gonna need wire nuts. We are gonna start off like we did in the last video and build us a box. Just like that, we have ourselves a new magical box. With that, we need to turn this into this. So the first thing we need to do is crack open this box. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta loosen up these screws here. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a very interesting screw. Looks more like a drill bit than a screw. Alrighty, that's one, two, three. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside because now we need to deal with this side. First thing we gotta do is cut that off, throw it away. Now we need to uh, remove some of this outer cable. Uh, it might be easier to do if we do it this way. So we're loosening up these screws here, taking them off. Putting the, putting the cord through the hole. Get the screw in there. Tighten just enough so it's through there. And with this guy, you can see there is a brass, silver, green. And just like when we we're doing this guy here, we had the brass, silver, green. So we're going to match up all the uh, the black, the white, and the green. So that everything matches up, and when we plug it in, it'll work. So here we go, we need to trim off some here. So we're gonna trim off about, I don't know, about three inches. Spread these out. Close the knife so you don't slice your hand open. Spread these guys apart, wipe off the talcum powder, kind of measure things up here. We will probably want it about there. So basically you want enough of the outer jacket to be able to squeeze down on it with this white part here and enough of the inner cables to be able to strip them and screw them around the screws. So about, I don't know, it's two, two and a half inches or so right there. 
and then we are going to strip about three quarters to a, an inch worth off the top. I'll make sure those wires are nice and tight. And then on this guy here, we are going to loosen these guys just until there's a little bit of resistance against the plastic. And then what you do is you take your cable here and you just put it in there. And I've got a little bit too much here, so I'm going to trim a little bit off. Let's tighten them up again. And basically you just slide it in there up until that point, until it hits the bottom, and you just tighten it down, making sure that it stays tight as you screw it down. Nice and tight. And then we've got, so that was the brass to the black, the silver goes to the white, The last one's the green one. You want it nice and tight. Just like so. And then, so now we need to get these guys aligned again right there with that one. So it's got a little thing right there to tell you which way it's supposed to go so you don't turn it the wrong way around. And that needs to go right there so it's nice and tight. Nice and tight there. Alright, and then we want to make sure we get all that cable in there. So and we're making sure that we've got the insulation passing all the way through there so it's locking down on the insulation and not on the uh, the cables on the in, or the the wires on the inside of this outer jacket and then you just clamp it down nice and tight both sides just like that and there we go. We've done a, uh, our own plug, our own sockets. And now if we go ahead and test it, we've got our, the one we made in our last video here. We are going to, and it's plugged into the wall over there. We will plug it into that one, which we know will be live. And then we've got our little light here, and we are going to plug it into that one, turn the light on, boom, works. Plug it on to that one, works. Plug it into that one, oh, doesn't work, but that's because we've got this uh, light switch. That makes it work. And if we put it onto that one, the switch doesn't work on these side. So there we have it. <clears throat> um, a, another do-it-yourself extension cord with multiple plugs uh, and a do-it-yourself uh, male plug so you can plug it into the wall. So you can make these any length you want with boxes like this. You can get them bigger, you can get them smaller, so it's just a single, a double, triple, quadruple, and then you just make your own male side for the cutoffs for when you're doing the bigger ones. Just cut a couple feet off when you're cutting off the male end. And yeah, so everything that I used in this video will be linked down below. All the parts, all the tools, uh, link to my last video where I show how to actually do the in innards of this guy. That's all linked down below as well. Um, Please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't already, 
Uh, leave me some comments down below. Ask me any kind of questions down below uh, related to this, related to whatever you want. Just ask me a question. We'll start some discussions down in the comments down below just for the hell of it. So, and uh, with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers, everybody.